Oh, poor girl. Oh my I wonder how long she's been here. Is she alive still? Sandpipers swirl above Crab Island off the northwestern tip of Cape York Peninsula. This crescent-shaped island is the most significant breeding ground for the flatback turtles. In our two weeks wait, we witness the primal ritual of the flatbacks nesting. We've come at a time when the nesting is nearing an end and overlapping with the beginning of hatching. A 30 knot nor'easter creates a mini sandstorm. It must be hard on the turtle's eyes. I'm surprised our cameras survive. Flatback turtles nest only in northern Australia. They're not endangered for the female population may be as high as 10,000. They get their name from a relatively flat shell with turned up edges and measure up to a metre long. They lay about 50 eggs. That's fewer than other marine turtles, and incubation takes six weeks. Mortality is high, especially from pigs. Here at Crab Island, there is no pig predation, but crocodiles do take a heavy toll. I'm surprised to see those turtles nest in the mid-afternoon and back in the water before the day's end. This is Tuffy. Look at all those turtle tracks. There was some heavy nesting last night. Oh, poor girl. Oh my goodness. I wonder how long she's been here. Is she alive still? Yeah, she's alive. We'll have to drag her down to the beach. Come on, girl. When nesting is heavy, some turtles accidentally die. Get up, run. One can be buried by another digging her hole or tumble in a hole upside down like this one. That's Rowena Horn helping Tony and I save one lucky turtle. Over. All right, there you go, girl. She's exhausted. Heavy? Yeah. She doesn't have any energy. Yeah, she's okay. She's gone. 